Hi ladies, this is Carla. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm going through my tub of items that I did not sell last year at my craft fair. And I'm gonna go through and probably reduce the price on some of the things and see how much I have of each item and see if I want to add to it or not. So as many things as I've made already, I'm thinking, eh, I'm probably not going to add to it because next thing I really need to get a jump on are my Christmas cards. So anyway, let's go through what was in my tubs from last year. Okay, I have five of these planners from last year. And these I have $5 on. And they are like a Christmas planner. It just lets you right in the days so that you know you can use it if you don't use it this year you can use it next year gives your place right down who sends you a christmas card family members and gift lists stocking stuffers online orders have several pages of that then let's see you have a place for notes christmas traditions Uh, special gifts, like for your friends, teachers, neighbors, hairstylists, hostess gift, things like that that you don't want to forget. Things to do, your little list of things that your family might like to do. And I just put some things in there. It doesn't mean you have to do all those. And then notes, remember to do Christmas Eve, Christmas breakfast, Christmas Day, notes. And then if you're making any plans for New Year's, and here's a little pocket in the back. If you have any recipes or notes that you want to put on there. So those I will keep and I will keep those priced at $5. The other thing I have are these little rolling pins. And last year, like I said, I, I put more of a um, farm theme on them. And I have a couple left over, and this year I did them a little differently. And I had put $5 on my rolling pins and the ones I made this year. But I was in Hobby Lobby the other day, and I saw some very similar to these. And theirs were like, oh, I want to say $5 or I think they were like $4.99 or something like that. And then they were 50% off. And so I thought, ooh, that's $2.50. So I'm going to mark mine down to, oh, I think I'm going to go, let me check here. Put that somewhere. I think I'm going to go like $3 on these. Because I don't want a whole bunch of them left over. And if you can buy them at Hobby Lobby for um, that price, then it might be better to be a little more competitive with that. Then another thing that I've had, gosh, I have had these... I think since I first started doing craft fairs, these little dollar bookmarks, I sell for a dollar. And I made these on, uh, looks like that one's missing a ribbon, and laminated them. And I'm just going to put those in a little basket and put a dollar on those. I keep those, but I'm not going to add any more to that. These are little uh, notebooks that I got at Dollar Tree. Oh. I think I got those, gosh, I've probably had these a couple years. And I've got them marked for $3, but I think I'm going to mark them down to 2 And that way, maybe I can move the rest of these out. They're just little journals, and, you know, I just repurposed the fronts and altered them a little bit. So, and here's one that's not open. I put a little pocket inside, and... Just a little writing journal. So I'm going to put $2 on those and keep those. These garlands, I only had two of these beaded garlands left. And uh, this one is The Craft Room is My Happy Place. And I've got $12 on that one. And this one is just a gray, white, natural beaded one with some tassels on the end. I've got $12 on that one. I don't think I'm going to make any more of those. Depends on, you know, how much time I have. But as of now, I don't think I will. Okay, these were left from last year. Uh, I'm going to put $6 on these. This one says snow. 
And it's got the little tassel on the end. This one says bath. I did that on my Cricut. And that will also be six. Let's see. You remember when we all would make these little bitty uh, notebooks, cover these little notebooks that you could get three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Well, I still have some of these left over. And I'm just going to put a dollar on these two. In fact, I'll probably put my dollar things in a basket. And I have four of these little note pins and sticky notes left. I might make more of these, but I'm not sure. I'm putting $2 on these. These are really cute. They usually sell pretty well, but I, you know, I'm... I don't know if I'm going to have time to make more. If I do, I will. And then I've got, okay, this is a prayer journal I made. I've got $10 on that. It has these little rounds. And on the inside, it's got uh, the Bible verse from Second Chronicles. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So I made this little prayer journal and it's divided up, you know, any way you would want it to be. But you could put on these little tabs like my family, at work, um, my country, um, you know, my son, my daughter, my husband. You could put all kinds of things on there. And each little section has a section to uh, write your prayer today is scripture verse thoughts your prayer request and what i am grateful for today it might help if i get that up <laughs> or you can see that but these were fun to make i think i've got a couple of these and i had gone in on my cricket and put little pictures on my tab dividers so i've got a couple of those and Let's see. These, okay, these are just little tablets from the Dollar Tree that I covered and added a pen with. And uh, this one is $3. I'm going to keep it at that. And this one is the same. It's just smaller and it has the lines on it. And I'm going to keep that at $3. I love these. I only have three left and I really haven't been able to find these at my Dollar Tree lately, but... I keep one of these. Um, these are from, like I said, the Dollar Tree. And I keep one of these in my purse. And this is my grocery list. And I can use my little uh, paper clip, you know, to divide it off and where I want it. And I just make my grocery lists on there or lists of things I need to do. And I really like it. So I'm going to have to be getting another one soon because I've got use mine all up. And I think you sell these for three fifty. It's got the little pen and the paper clip in there. And then we've got three of those left. So let's see what else we've got. get down there a little bit. Okay, these are so cute, and they actually sold pretty well. I only had like six left, and I sold out all of my bumblebees, but I crocheted these, and I called them my tagalongs. They're like a, uh, I like a backpack buddy. Okay, and this says, with me as your friend, you can't go wrong. Just let me be your tag along. I made that on the Cricut. Made this little, like, uh, I don't know, embellishment up here that says Backpack Buddy. These are the flowers. And there's another flower in the blue. This one's in kind of the turquoise and yellow. And then one more flower. And these are, I love these. And I may have to make more of these. Not for this factory. I just think these are darling. These are little uh, jellyfish. 
and they're, you know, they hang down. They've got the little tentacles that hang down. But those are really cute. Now, these next things I have, uh, they just didn't go over that well. So I'm probably going to sell these for a dollar. I made these keychains, or, or these could be a backpack buddy, too, some of these. These are made out of those hair ties and wire. I'll show you a few of those. In fact, I may just give these away. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to sell them, and I'll probably just sell these for a dollar. And then I got a lot of these and put little tassels on them. These are the no touch keychains, which were, you know, kind of popular when we were worried about COVID and touching everything, which I still don't like to touch the doorknobs in public restrooms. So anyway, I'll be selling these probably for a dollar. And last year I made some chip clips. I had never made them before. I know they're not new, but I had six packs of them, and I sold them for $5 a pack last year, and there's four little chip clips. The other ones I did were the black and red buffalo check, and the, this one I'm going to sell for three. These are little wine tags that I made out of tags and beads and put a little jute through there you just hang that over the wine bottle and I only had four left of these so I did really well I wanted to make more this year but you know I could not find this kind of a tag at Hobby Lobby and I just didn't feel like running around all over the place I did find some wooden tags there but they're much smaller and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use them or not but um we'll see we'll see and these I sell for $3, and that's what I sold them for last year, and they did pretty well, so I'm gonna keep that price on there. I've had these probably for a couple years. And these are magnets. And I just found these little wooden um, plates, I guess is what you would say, little wooden rectangles. And I just cut out, you know, pictures. The ones that I have left, this is the only Christmas one, but most of the Christmas ones did sell. And then I bought, um, oh gosh, I think at Lowe's or um, ha um, Home Depot or any place like that. You can find these magnet pieces, magnet sheets rather, that are over by the covers for the vents. And um, you can get a pretty good deal on those. And anyway, that's what I use and cut those down and put those on the back. And I'm gonna sell these for a dollar. I've had these a few years, so you know, you can put different things on there. But my experience, is that the Christmas ones would sell better. I had some round ones as well. And let's see. I had made teacher ornaments last year and I had four left. I'm selling these for $3. Says number one teacher I put on there with a cricket. And uh, these little wooden ornaments. I got these at, gosh, I think it was Joann's one year after Christmas sale. And I just had some chipboard pieces that I added to those and made little ornaments. And I've got a little tree at my booth and I just kind of hang those on there. I can't remember how many of these I actually had but I have five left, and I sold these for five dollars. I've still got five dollars on them. This says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. This is simply one of those Dollar Tree chalkboards. I use my Cricut to put 
whatever I liked on the front. I had some wire and had my husband drill a couple holes in the top. And I just beaded the wire and tied some little bows to it. And this one is really cute. This says, Days Until Christmas, and there's a piece of chalk on there that you can write and erase each day if your child or grandchild wants to count down the days till Christmas. So I've got five different ones, Copy, Christmas, and Music, Another Days Till Christmas, and this one is the red and black buffalo check, and it simply says, Merry Christmas. This is another tear tray ornament that was left from last year. I'm going to go ahead and put that out and put $3 on it. There's my other prayer journal, and I'm putting $10 on that. And this is just a little journal that I had made with the notebooks. And I didn't make that many, and I have two, no, one left one left so I don't know that I really want to make another one this year oh here's another one two left this is more of a summary one and then this one is really cute and this might be a prayer journal but it would be for I don't know it could be for a you know a, a tween or a little bit older girl that's writing and this one I'd made with this, and this has the uh, acetate on there, and, you know, yeah, this is, oh, this is just a journal, it says, I'm thinking, and my day, just little pockets to put different things in, and this one says, remember, and this one says, grateful, and see those. And there's some more little pockets in the back. So that was another little journal. And I'm selling that one for 10. That was left from last year. And I had some emery boards. Now, these emery boards, let me see, that are in the package, the holder was a little bit smaller, so it fit into one of those pretzel bags, but the style I made last year, it would not fit in the pretzel bag. It was too wide at the bottom, and I didn't realize that until after I had them all made. So it is not in a little pretzel bag. I think I had seven of those left over, but I probably made like 20, and I sell those for, I think, $2. Then last year, I got the urge to make a little bit of jewelry. <laughs> and so I made lots of these little bracelets let me see if i can pull some out this one is soccer this one's basketball there's another soccer mahomes we like the chiefs around here this is just pink and white and this says snowy day that one has m and m this one says sweet there's just several of those left and i did sell quite a few but this year, I think I'm going to sell these for um, $3, and we'll see how that goes. Like, here's one. You can buy these little, uh, little kind of like beaded, uh, what do you want to call them? Word tags, I guess. And then they've got a word on either side. This one says gentle, and that one says friend. So those are kind of cute, too. So... I have all that to add to what I have already shared with you. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through taking my inventory. Um, let's see, where's my book? Here it is. I have this little book that I made when I first started doing craft fairs. And I kind of keep track of what I make, 
how many I have of it and what I'm going to charge for it. And that way I can get an overall view of, you know, just what I'm taking. And like I said, I think I am pretty well set, except for I do need to start making my Christmas cards. I'm waiting for an order to get here from the last day just in craft day, and then I will be making cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This might have given you some ideas for some things to do at your craft fair. And these, uh, most of these have been shown through a tutorial on my uh, YouTube page. So Maybe you can find those. If I try to go through and find a link, or if there's one you're particularly interested in, I can check to see if I have a link. But I will warn you, I have trouble getting a link. I do this on my computer. I find the link, and when I attach it, it is not a link that you can just click on, and it will pop up. And I don't know why that is. I will click on it, and it may put the link in there, but it's not highlighted in blue. I'm going to have to work on that, see if I can get better at it. So anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Thanks again uh, for watching. And if you have not had a chance to subscribe, please hit that little subscribe button. And until next time, bye-bye.